45. But the Pirates in pretty good shape right now with a 6-2 lead, bottom half of the ninth, and Glenn Hubbard leads it off for Atlanta. Bobby Wine, who managed his Braves to a victory in his first game last night, has to be a little disappointed with the way the ball club's played tonight, especially the way the bullpens perform. Bullpen having its problems again. Oh, and one on Hubbard, who has flied to center, hit into a force play and single. Hubbard, Cerrone, Washington. Do up here in the bottom of the ninth. Here's the 0-1. Down that left field line. That's a fair ball. Hubbard's got at least one. He'll head for second. Up with the ball is Orsalak and Hubbard aboard with a leadoff double. That's Hubbard's second hit of the ball game. He has a six-game hitting streak. He's beginning to sting the ball pretty well the last half dozen games. Breaking ball hung a little bit. And Hubbard has his 15th double of the year. So he's at second with nobody out. Here's Rick Cerrone, who's batting 223 with three homers, 22 RBIs, hitting for the first time tonight. In the Pirate bullpen, right-hander Don Robinson, left-hander Rod Scurry throwing. Cerrone takes it high, ball one. Braves now with seven hits off Rick Roden. Here's the 1 0. Over, 1 and 1. Now the 1 1 coming. Taken for a strike, it's 1 and 2. the one two pitch fly ball right field fairly deep but playable Mike Brown there waiting he'll make the catch Hubbard will move over to third without a throw and with one out now and a runner at third Claudel Washington will be the better Washington came on as a pinch hitter in the seventh inning he walked then stayed in the game to play right pitcher spot due up next Gerald Perry has moved to the on deck circle he'll pinch hit for Garber Another final is in in the National League. San Diego defeated the Phillies 4-1. However, the Dodgers still lead the Mets 2-0 going to the eighth inning. St. Louis is leading Cincinnati again, 5-4. They're in the top of the eighth. St. Louis still batting. Oh, and one on Washington. Other games involving contenders. Toronto leading Minnesota 3-0 there in the fifth inning. Kansas City trailing Milwaukee 6 3 there in the fifth inning. California and the Yankees play later. California's at home against Baltimore. The Yankees are at Oakland. Here's the 0 1 to the left side. The run will score. Khalifa's throw on to first is by Jason Thompson. Claudel Washington will move down to second base as it bounces into the Atlanta dugout. Well, that makes it a 6-3 to three ball game. And Khalifa has made a couple of brilliant plays at shortstop tonight. Charged with a two-base throwing error on a rather routine ground ball. He played it off to the side. Just made a horrible throw. So Claudel's down at second. He will get an RBI for that since they were not trying to hold a runner at third. So give Washington his 30th RBI of the year. And now Gerald Perry batting for Garber. Perry now at 210 for the year, one homer, eight RBIs. He was three for four in last night's game, had the game winning hit. Takes a strike from Roden, the count 0 1. Three errors in the game now for Pittsburgh. One and one the count. Uh, 
And now it looks like the official scorer has given a hit and an error to Washington on that last play. So give him an infield hit. He takes second on the throwing error. Braves now with eight hits in the ballgame. I thought a good throw would have had Claudel easily there, but we'll go along with what the score says. Here's the 2 1 pitch. 2 and 2. One man out, a runner at second. Braves down by three in the bottom of the ninth. Here's the 2 2. Strike three, call inside corner, fastball. Seventh strikeout for Rick Roden. It's out number two in the inning. And now it's all up to Rafael Ramirez. Here's a look at strike three. Down around the knees on the inside portion of the plate. And Ramirez, the Braves' last chance. He's 0 for 4. He's fly to center, grounded to short, fly to right, and struck out. If he can keep it going, Dale Murphy would come to the plate next. Ball one. Ramirez with just two hits now in his last 20 at bats. That average, as you saw, has dipped back to the 260s, 269 at the moment. Here's the 1 0. Down the right side, foul. It'll drift out of play. And the count even on Rafael, one and one. the one one delivery just a little bit high two and one here's the two one pitch line towards center that'll fall for a base hit Caudill will get the green light around third he'll score without a throw and it's now a six to four ball game. The Braves will bring the potential tying run to the plate. RBI number 48 for Rafael Ramirez. And Chuck Tanner is on his way to the mound. So Ramirez giving the Braves some last minute hope here. That's the ninth hit of the game off Roden. Don Robinson will get the summons from the Pirate bullpen. So Roden will miss the complete game by one third of an inning. And that's always upsetting to a pitcher. Eight and two thirds innings for Rick Roden. Nine hits allowed. Four runs to this point. The runner at first belongs to him. One of the runs, by the way, unearned. Roden walked two. And he struck out seven. So Don Robinson comes on from the Pirate bullpen to try to save it for Rick Roden. He'll have to get Dale Murphy out in this situation. And while he warms up, we'll watch this. For everyone working to keep the customer satisfied. This bud's for you. Nobody else can do the job the way you do. Just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Now, direct from the future, comes the Canon T70. The T70, sleeker to hold, simpler to handle. Controls are now touch button. Data now crystal clearly displayed. Film advance now built in. The Canon T70. Now you can capture computer-perfect pictures with the touch of a button. The Canon T70. Touch the future now. 
There's the new pitcher for the Pirates, Don Robinson. He was the loser last night. His record now 4-9, as you see. He's making his 38th appearance, his 32nd in relief. And he's trying to save this one for Rick Roden. There are the rest of Robinson's numbers. He's a fastball slider pitcher. Dale Murphy is the man he'll face. Murph tonight has doubled and homered in four bats. He represents the potential tying run. Ramirez's run doesn't mean that much, so they won't hold him. And the pitch coming to Murphy. Oh, he had a good cut on a Don Robinson fastball and fouled it back. Cardinals have scored another run. Going to the ninth inning, they lead Cincinnati now 6-4. Mets still trail the Dodgers 2-0. There in the eighth. Here at 6-4 Pirates, two outs, bottom of the ninth, the 0-1 pitch. Out of play to the right again, 0-2. American League final, Cleveland beat Boston 6-2. The Indians have won seven of their last 11 games now. It's one of the best stretches they've had. And the 0-2 pitch to Murphy. Line drive right field. It's going to fall in base hit. Ramirez will take the turn at second. Head for third. And the Braves are still alive. Runners first and third with two men out. Murphy's third hit of the game. And Bob Horner steps to the plate. He went with the pitch. Fastball down and away. Headed to right field. Hit number 10 for Atlanta. And now Bob Horner was walked, fly to center, fly to left, and struck out 0 for 3. He represents the potential winning run. Steve Demeter and Chuck Tanner talk it over in the Pirate dugout. They don't want this one to slip away. They've seen too many of those kind of games this year. Here's the pitch to Horner. Outside, ball one. Murphy at first, Ramirez at third, two outs. Robinson to the belt. And the 1-0 pitch. Deep to left center field. Back goes Orselak, and the Braves have won it. Bob Horner strikes for a three-run homer in the bottom half of the ninth inning. And the Braves come off the deck, scoring seven runs, five of them in the bottom of the ninth. Atlanta wins it, 7-6. to six. What a finish. What a finish for Bobby Wines. Atlanta Braves, his second game, and the Braves came off the deck. Bob Horner's first home run since July 27th. And he couldn't have picked a better time. Over on the other side of the field, the Pirates shaking their head in disbelief. Here's the pitch again from Robinson. Fastball right down the middle. And Bob Horner connects for his 21st homer of the year. RBI's number 72, 73, and 74. And the Pirates losing road streak continues. 16 straight. Have now been dropped away from Pittsburgh. Tony Pena still can't believe it.
So the Braves are 2-0 under Bobby Wine.